Welcome to the Night Radio and Television Station. Here come to the news today. The new secretary of the Domnai Provincial Party Committee, Nguyen Hong Lin, has just had a working session at the Domnai Center for Disease Control and visited doctors and nurses on duty at Province No. 3 Fields Hospital. Working with the Domnai Center for Disease Control, security of the Provincial Party Committee, Nguyen Hong Lin, requested the Health Sector and the Provincial People Committee to have a plan to repair enough treatment beds when forecasting the number of patients could reach 20 to 30,000 people in the upcoming time. At the same time, it is necessary to repair an addition 1,000 ventilators for treatment. By all means, must speed up vaccination against COVID-19 to soon create an immune community system. The Security of Provincial Party Committee also visited and encouraged the doctor and nurses who were on a duty at No. 3 Field Hospital at Ho Chi Minh Open University Dormitory compared to Long Bình Thuận Hoa, Bình Hoa City. There are nearly 450 patients here. The security at the Provincial Party Committee is concerned about the patient treatment, eating, drinking situation and difficulties of the task force. In particular, the treatment staff and the task force must pay attention to work of avoiding infection to protect health and resources to fight the pandemic. After more than one month of implementation, the crop farm agriculture Domnai accompanies, shares, and prevent COVID-19 have received the support of many organizations and individuals. Domnai Department of Agriculture and Rural Development has supported more than 100 tons of vegetables, 45 tons of chicken, more than 30 tons of pork pawns, more than 20 tons of rice, and other necessities to help people in need with food. The department also has two times supported Ho Chi Minh City and Hu Dick City with more than 25 tons of vegetables, two birds, five tons of jarring juice, and three tons of chicken. According to the plan, department will continue to accompany and support people in the blockage areas facing difficulties with food, organized chickens, charity, field hospital until the grade 16 is over. The Vietnam J office in Australia says that more than 15 tons of frozen durian from Oop Dam Company, which had just been exported to Australia, were sold out in just two days of distribution. In addition to 15 tons of sold out in just two days of distribution, 45 tons of Vietnamese durian still on the sea has been ordered by the stores. From the beginning of 2021, outdoor many cities in Australia has been so aligned, but Durian Re6 still has a great attraction. The lowest plot price is up to 18.99 AUSD per kilogram for frozen Durian Hope, and 20 to 25 AUD per kilogram for the pure Thai. The Vietnam trade officer in Australia noted that because Re6 Durian has a great name in Australia, businesses need to pay attention to quality rather than the price. U.S. President Joe Biden defended his decision to withdraw troops from Afghanistan and reaffirmed that the U.S. commitment to the South Asian country. The statement comes as civilian casualties are rising as Taliban continue to revolt on the battlefield. At a press conference at the White House, President Biden stated that he did not request the decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan and reaffirmed that his commitment to continue to provide air support, food supplies, and equipment to Afghanistan government forces. President Biden emphasized that the U.S. has spent more than $1 trillion over the past 20 years and trained and equipped modern equipment for more than 300,000 Afghan soldiers. Thousands of Americans were killed and wounded in this war. President Biden called on Afghan officers to fight for the country. Meanwhile, in Kabul, Afghan President Abdras Ghani said he had sourced to help from militias in the region. The U.S. Senate on August 20 passed a $1 trillion USD infrastructure bill, a significant victory for President Biden and his first step in his top legislative priority. 
Shortly after the bill passed the Senate, President Biden thanked the senator from both Democrats and Republicans for keeping their promise to pass the bill. The bill is making its way to the House of Representatives and faces many difficulties and skepticism from the Congressives. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced that the bill could not be pushed forward until the Senate passed the second part of the bill, a 3.5 trillion USD spending package. That's us on the news today. Thanks for watching us. Have a good time. Goodbye.